Hi, I'm Megan. This is my husband, Billy. We met on eHarmony. These are our children, Michael and Lydia. And these are my siblings, Jacob and Zoe. We aren't your typical family, but together we have lots of fun. All right, I'm getting part of my head chopped off, but that's fine. Welcome back to a, another video for Stepmom Talk. Today I wanted to talk about alone time. When moms, stepmoms, partners need alone time. So the first thing I want to say is sometimes the opposite spouse does not understand just what as a step parent you're going through. For instance, let's talk about stepmoms. As a stepmom, you're always on that teeter totter of Am I doing this right? Am I the right person? Um, and just, do they like me? Do they not? So you're emotionally always going through, like, what ifs. And so sometimes when you're having those what ifs or just having, like, a bad day or just, you know what, just need some alone time because you, we are creatures that we internalize a lot. We're constantly thinking our brain is going 90 to nothing all the time. We're always doubting ourselves that sometimes a little bit of alone time is not necessarily a bad thing. And I feel like some spouses don't understand that. Um, they think, you know, what did I do wrong? I did something wrong. What did I do wrong? And it's not necessarily that. We are women. We are multi-layered. We don't always make a lot of sense. And so sometimes we need that time to just be alone, to regroup, to rethink, to just kind of go about our day. A lot of times with women, and it's kind of under, hard for men to understand, is that we always have a thousand things going through our brains at any given time. And so sometimes we realize something's not working, how do we want to fix this? Um, and so sometimes we just need that alone time to think. And sometimes it's not, there's just, an, there's just a point where you just need to get away. Or sometimes you might just need to have a girl's day. Um, for me, I tend to want to just kind of isolate myself for a little bit, think things through, kind of go, okay, readjust, and then, you know, run full force at it again. Um, some people, they just need to take a nap. Like, <laughs> you know, it's like, if I just get a nap, everything will be great. And so it's just, for us, you can hit a wall, hit that wall, hit that wall, and it's just at some point you have to back up and just take a break and then think about it. 99% of the time, it has absolutely nothing to do with our spouses. Um, sometimes it's completely us. It's our, our self-doubt, our... Um, just, you know, are we good enough? Are we right? And sometimes it has nothing to do with that. Sometimes it is mornings are chaotic and I don't know how to fix it. And so then you kind of go off and you're like, bam, I'm going to do this. And that's all it is. And you know what? Or sometimes it's about our genes. We can't fit in our genes the correct way or um, we forgot to take our jeans out of the washing machine because we didn't want to dry them today. And we dried them anyway. And so we're irritated. And it has absolutely nothing to do with kids or with our spouse. Sometimes that's just the way it is. We emotionally heal differently, I feel like, a lot of times than men. Um, it tends to take, I feel like it tends to take us a little longer too. So, you know what? Don't feel bad for having to take a break. And sometimes you might have to demonstrate that to your husband. You might just say, you know what, I just need an hour to myself, a day to myself, whatever, to regroup, and then we're good to go. And honestly, like, they don't have to worry. And maybe we have to tell them, like, hey, don't worry about it, because it's something's dumb. And sometimes it is, it's just a dumb thing that just, whoa, overwhelms us. And it was really kind of the cherry on top of the ice cream, the cake, the whatever that just, you know like stepping your toe and then it's the end of the world and it has nothing to do with stepping your toe anyway thanks guys um for watching and if you have any comments questions or concerns leave them down below if you're not comfortable leaving comments go ahead and my email is down there too so guys thanks for watching i'll see y'all next time